look at the new chickens. They are beautiful birds, though. They still got plenty of ability to get some light in there. And they'll be good like that. All right, guys, again, if you like what we're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't try to go around the other way. See how the integration goes here. Hi, Rooster. <laughs> well, guys, I just got rid of my favorite rooster. Um, came out to the coop and I just saw him laying there he was dead underneath the run that is actually why I made my coop the height that I did which that if anything ever happened to one of my chickens under there I could go and get them so I'm glad I did but it's just really sad because I called him rooster and he was my favorite he was my favorite chicken definitely my favorite rooster at least now I'm down by another rooster but I don't know exactly what happened to him um, I think what happened is we've got a hole in the in the run here I'll show you again right here you can see they they use that area probably for their dust bathing and stuff I've got to refill it back in. And I think what happened is he tried to tuck his head under there in order to hide from some of the other chickens. Because unfortunately he was one that got bullied every once in a while. Um, he was one that we had introduced to the flock a while back. And he seemed to be doing all right. But unfortunately, every once in a while, I would come out and you'd see a couple of the the chickens being chickens and, you know, pecking at each other. And he usually hung out by himself. But I think what probably happened is he got in that corner, he tucked his head in that underneath that wire. And then a couple of the other roosters probably got on him. It's the only thing I can think of. But again, unfortunately, he was my favorite rooster. It's a very sad day on our on our homestead. We still have other roosters, so we'll still hear the crowing and everything, and obviously things will move on. But this type of thing happens on a on a homestead. And you, if you're raising chickens, you're gonna or any type of animal. Eventually, you're going to have one die on you.
But unfortunately, I mean, I can't help but think it was my fault. I left them in there. You know, I, I knew they weren't getting along 100%, but you see them do that type of stuff all the time. And I think it was just the positioning he positioned himself in, and it just didn't do well. But chickens are enjoying this area over here today. I just let them out because... In order for me to get Rooster out of there, I had to let the chickens free range so that I could get under the, so that I'd be able to go under the coop. But I'm definitely going to have to fill in that hole. I've got plenty of dirt over, over there. I've got plenty of dirt I can use. I'll have to bring that in and fill that hole back up. All right, guys, enjoy your... Enjoy your free ranging, your free meals. <coughs> he was doing fine this morning. He was running around and everything. So it happened today while we weren't here. It's just a very sad day. <coughs> well, guys, thanks for coming along and have a great day. Bye.